So the trend towards increasing globalization is one that we've all been observing for some time. We've known about it. There are plenty of scholars who are studying it. Um, and there are many people who are emphasizing the, the increasing globalization of organizations and its, its need for, for leaders who are culturally savvy. And, and this is actually something that a number of researchers and, and scholars have talked about. And most of the focus has been on the personal aspects of cultural savvy, like being able to recognize that the same behavior in two different cultural contexts can have completely different meanings or being able to work with people comfortably from different cultures, or being able to recognize that competence is displayed in very different ways in, in different parts of the world. But that's the personal aspect of cultural savvy. And one of the things I wanted to address is a slightly different version of cultural savvy that is more, more in thinking about the organizational level of leadership. One aspect of cultural savvy that's relatively rarely talked about is how important it is for leaders to understand how business is perceived in different cultural contexts. For example, in our cross-national study of outstanding chief executives, one of the things that we found was that in India, as compared to some countries in the West, business can be viewed with quite a high degree of suspicion. And as a consequence, it was very important in that context for senior leaders in India to articulate and work toward purposes for their organization that made a real and meaningful contribution to the well-being of society. That was an absolute differentiator of their effectiveness as really as um, really great leaders compared to others who didn't think of that. And so it's important to understand that, in, that globalization is also increasing the demand that our leaders recognize nuance, nuances like that in different cultural contexts um, in the business world.